10 minutes to warming up your voice. I believe that not every teacher will be able to give you the tool you need to build your voice, but they give you a tool and then it's your job to discover your own body and play with that tool. you to do is if you're sitting or you're standing preference is on standing but I want you to see the whole length of your spine we're just going to take some breaths engaging the elongation of our spine so know that your spine begins behind your eyes follow it all the way down your back to your tailbone that's your measurement measure it breathe in sustain your breath while seeing your spine growing longer and deeper into the ground and exhale, continue to see that. We're gonna do that breath five times. So we measure the spine, breathe in. Suspend, re-measure, exhale. Spine continues to lengthen and widen. Again, measure. Suspend, back continues to grow, width and length. Exhale, continue to see that elongation. Check that you're not tightening in your toes, in your shins, in your knees, because you do 1% less. Measure the spine, breathe in. Remeasure, exhale, continue to see the spine lengthening and widening. Two more, measure. Remeasure, and continue to lengthen and widen on the exhale. One more time, measure, breathe in. Remeasure, exhale, continue to see the lengthening and widening. Now we're gonna take that measurement, put it in front of the inhale just as we did, but I want you to go into vocal fry on the exhale and continue it until you're completely out of breath, focusing on still seeing your spine lengthening and widening as you do the vocal fry. So we measure the spine, breathe in. Sustain, continue to see it lengthening and widening. Again, measure the spine, breathe in. Place your hand on your chest so you can feel the vibration here, not in your throat. Exhale, continue to see your spine lengthening and widening on vocal fry. One more just like that. Measure. Lengthen and widen the spine as you go into the exhale. Good, let's go to level two. So same thing, measuring the spine, lengthening and widening before we breathe in, but we're gonna put in some little slides with that vocal fry. But the key here is not to push your voice higher just for the sake of going higher, but it should really feel like it cracks to go higher. So, releasing your shins and your thighs and your hip sockets, could you do 1% less? Measure the top of your spine behind the eyes to the tailbone, breathe in. You're gonna do little slides like this on vocal fry until you're out of air. Continue to see the spine lengthening and widening as you do it. We'll do three more like this. Measure the spine, inhale. Lengthening and widening. Exhale, go into vocal fry from deep in the chest with little slides. If you feel your chest compress as you run out of air, stop. This isn't about how long can I hold the vocal fry. Let it go. We don't want to have a tightening through our chest. If you want to push yourself a little bit, try to see the muscle on the inside of your sternum. It kind of comes up and it tucks into your, your ribs like this. Just imagine that releasing as you're exhaling. We'll do one more measure of the spine. Lengthening and widening as you exhale, go into vocal fry, small crackly slides. 
I continue to see my spine lengthening as wide as the room, releasing through the front of the sternum. Uh, if you want to do a couple more, you can never overdo those. Let's move on to making some sound. Okay guys, we are going to take all of that thought process that we just did and we're going to put it with the vocal fry into a note. What's important here is it doesn't really matter what you sound like, this is the warm up. It's all about what you're doing with your body and with your brain. Because in the warm up, if we focus on hitting the right note and it's sounding perfect, then when you go in to record or for your rehearsal, you're just gonna be concerned about what you sound like. So this is your permission to sound like poop. So I'm gonna start with the middle C, demonstrate for you what I want you to do, and then I will take you through all the registers. You can fast forward to find which note you want to start on based on where your voice likes to sit. So we're going to know the full length of our spine from behind the eyes to the tailbone. See it growing taller than the room, wider than the room. Inhale. Renew that measurement. moment that you go through vocal fry to the sound is the moment that you will want to end gain the most. So I want you to renew the idea of your spine lengthening and widening, uh, the vibration from your chest and permission for it to crack and be ugly. All three of those things. So again, we measure the spine, we know that it's expanding in all directions, we breathe in. Uh, prepare your breath, go into vocal fry and then go to the note. Okay guys, this one is a bit more advanced, so if you want a more basic version, just give yourself a low note to a high note and permission to crack as you go up to the high note. But for those that are a bit more advanced, we're going to take a triad, an arpeggio, we're going to break it down a little bit, really lock into the bottom note, and then stay with our back expanding as we go up, but with permission to crack here. So where that vocal fry lives, that uh, feeling if this is all released it should be quite gentle through here that's where your voice is going to crack so I want you to get really into that bottom note use the vocal fry go through to the note to connect to that bottom note is uh, you stay on that bottom note as long as you need to until you feel your lower back engage and then you'll go to the next note judging what I sound like here because all I'm trying to teach my body is that we're going to go higher but I don't need you to grab hold here. I just stay in my back, I stay where that vocal fry is and I give it permission to be really loose and kind of weird. This way when you go in and you need to hit some higher notes it's not going to come from here. It's going to come from a really easy place where it flips into a new register and your back takes it. So again we're going to use that vocal fry to connect into the bottom note then continue to see your back lengthening and widening. If you're sitting in your car, you can do this too. Continue to release through here. Watch that you don't tighten and you're just gonna crack up to each of those higher notes. Demonstrate one more time. Take this through your range, find the note that works for you. Let's go.
feeling pretty good. We're gonna do one more just to really hone it in and they're gonna be ready to go. I just wanna do a few high notes because I know that you're gonna to need to sing them in the practice room. So to do that, we're gonna pretend like it's the lowest note that we hit. We're actually gonna give ourselves a low note and then go up to the high one. It's just gonna be uh, uh. You should feel it here and here. Expand here before you go up to that high note, otherwise you'll feel it here. That's a good warning that you haven't been patient enough on that bottom note. So give yourself a bottom note. Uh, uh. Now after you do this a few times, I don't want you to let it go and let it crack. You're gonna stay with it, stay with your back expanding. Slide up, slide down. Uh, know what it felt like to get your voice to crack and follow that path. The only difference between uh, and uh, is that one of them, I'm just kind of giving up my energy at the top because I don't want to grab and the next one, I'm like, okay, I can do it that way. So what if I stay in my back and go up? I'm going to give you the bottom note and the top note. We're gonna do two times that cracky, uh, and then once, uh, it's okay if there's little cracks and stuff on the way up, that will smooth itself out after a while.